So, you want some Captain Crunch, but you're not a captain, and you're not that crunchy. Well, just leave yourself out in the sun for a little bit, and you'll get there. Hey guys, I'm Betis by Colin Kai, we're, today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool, um, very, very strange animation rig type thing. And the reason I wanted to share this, and I was so keen to share this with you guys, is because this has absolutely no armature, it has no bones, it has no literally anything in it. Um, I used only shape keys for this entire thing, um, and I thought that was absolutely awesome. So I struggle with a, a little bit of the process here, and I'm going to show you the whole thing here, um, and I'll just kind of like explain what's going through my head when I'm doing this. So a lot of this was a lot of trial and error because I've never really made a rig without using a rig before, and I wanted to kind of figure out what I thought the best way to do this was um, and have it be easily customizable and easily animatable because the whole point of this is it's supposed to cut down um a lot of the uh a lot of the watering process which is the animation itself so it takes a long 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 time to animate um and i was trying my best to see if i could create something that would cut that time not only in half but literally in 75 percent of it away um and i think i did a really good job of that but as of right now, I'm just trying to get, decide how I want the, the model to look. I'm not even worried about the shape keys or anything like that right now. So um, I decided to not add a nose because it looks too much like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just thought I'd put that out there. Um, but for the most part, this is a super, super simple um, rig type style. I don't know how, what to even call this. I, I don't know. Should I patent pin this? I'm not sure. I'm sure someone else has done this. But the most important thing is is to, that I wanted to keep it as simple as is possible. So as you can see right now, we literally have three circles and then a little cylinder. That's literally all we have. And because uh, the scene that I knew I was going to make was just a simple little scene where he's going to walk in and then like, you know, speak or whatever, um, then I knew that I didn't need I didn't need legs and I don't like my characters having arms as it is. I do a lot of 2D animation as well and I don't usually draw arms on them um or the arms that i draw on them they don't really move them i think it's funny i don't know but um uh for this i i, I tried to do some arms here you can see just for like a little bit of like a little outline there he wasn't going to use them but just for like a little bit of shadow a little bit of something but then i just didn't like it so i just fully removed them but the point is is that i try to keep everything as completely simple as is possible and the reason I did that is because not only just does, not only did it look good just for the style that it was, but I also really, 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 like I said, wanted to maximize that idea of really lessening the workload and having something still be very visually appealing. That's the whole point of what I was trying to do here. I was trying to make something look very, very visually appealing, very, very attractive, but I wanted to do as le least as is possible. As less as is humanly possible is what I wanted to do, and I want to see how little I could get away with doing and having it still be something that I thought looked very, very interesting to watch and to look at. And I think I did a really good job of that. Um, hopefully, you guys think the same thing. Um, but the lighting itself was also something that I was really intrigued about uh, doing, especially because when you have really simple shapes, lighting is literally everything because you don't have complex models for people to go, wow, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Wow, look, that's the whole Death Star. That's wild. Oh, man, you recreated Darth Vader in Blender. That's sweet. You don't have that. So the lighting has to be just gorgeous. It has to just be gorgeous. And I think that the double point light setup, double area lamp setup is a, a, a super simple, super simple um, light setup. And I think it looks really, really good. So one light, up, one light up at the top, very, very slightly yellowish just to give that nice sun tone, and then one coming down from the bottom right, sorry, top left and the bottom right, um, and the bottom right one is a nice soft blue light that kind of looks like it's like, you know, light reflecting off of the ground or whatever, what have you. Um, and here we go into the actual animation of the boneless rig here. Um, I decided that I was going to draw the mouth. 2d style which i thought was a really cool touch after i've animated everything which is what i decided to do so um for right now i'm just taking it s step by step so i'm just the, the first pass of animation just literally moving him out of frame and then back into the frame that's literally all that it is and then we add the bounce to make it look like he's walking and then we refine the bounce and then we add head movement head bobbing and then we have a little bit of eye motion and then we have blinking one step at a time so don't look at this as well i gotta make him walk and then blink and then talk don't do that do, okay, well, I have to just slide him into frame first. And then you can go into that, into those two keyframes where you added him going from the right to the left, literally just sliding over. And then you can add keyframes in between those that make like he's bobbing up and down. And then you can refine those. And then you can add head bobbing up and down. And you can refine that 
take it super, super slow at a time. And I, like I said, I said this before in other videos, but it's so easy to kind of get bogged down and, and kind of get a little uh, overwhelmed because you're watching a, a 10 minute video right now. And this took me about maybe two hours, not even probably, probably about two hours, somewhere around an hour and a half, something like that, an hour and a half to animate this. And it's like the stupidest, smallest scene on top of the fact I, I wasn't necessarily like paying attention fully. I was kind of, you know, watching things, doing things while I was working on this, but the important thing is, like I said, don't let yourself get bogged down with, wow, this is like a lot to animate at the same time. Take it one literal, the smallest step you can possibly imagine, literally. Um, and it becomes way more fun that way too. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to animate him walking. Let me go frame by frame. No, do every, do all of the walking from start to finish and then go back and refine it and refine it again and refine it again and refine it again until it actually looks the way you want it to look. Um, so that's a really important thing that I want to talk about. And the second important thing I want to talk about is is something I've already kind of touched on, but just because something is not detailed does not mean it's bad. The most, some of the most popular things, some of the most well-loved things, some of the coolest things are the most simple things you've ever seen in life. A lot of shows come out, a lot of movies come out, and they're super simple. Take a look at all of the new movies that are coming out. For example, something like Guy Into the Spider-Verse, the new Puts in Boots movie. These movies are literally in like, about 12, 15 frames per second. And if these movies were released in the 2000s, everyone would be like, why does it look so choppy? What's going on here? Sometimes less is more. Um, whether you like that style or not, we like that low frame rate style, whether you like um, a, style that, a style that looks like South Park or a style that looks like, you know, whatever it may be, if you think it looks bad or it looks not, you know, your kind of way, um, granite, that's not for everyone. You know, the low frame rate, the janky looking animation, Ed, Ed and Eddie type animation might not be for everyone. But the point is, if you can find something that you like, um, that isn't, that isn't like everyone else, don't be like afraid to, to lean into that. You know what I mean? Don't, don't be afraid to be like, oh, that's, uh, this just doesn't look super detailed. It's not super hyper detailed. It's not, you know, it's not hyper realistic. It doesn't look like Disney. It doesn't look like Pixar. It doesn't look like a Nickelodeon uh, animated film. It doesn't like SpongeBob. I can't, oh, I can't, I can't release this. It doesn't like, it doesn't, it doesn't look like SpongeBob. It doesn't look like um, Teen Titans. Don't do that. It doesn't look like my favorite anime. It doesn't look like my favorite anime. I can't, I can't release this if it doesn't look just like um, uh, 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 Jujutsu Kaisen. I, don't do that. All right. Make your own kind of thing and then go off of that. And then from that, you will make something that is not only completely different than most other things that's out, but you will also have a product that is uniquely you, which is the best thing you can possibly do because creating content or doing something that isn't uniquely you or something that you're not fully into is how you start resenting that content and you never want to do it again. So um, just come up with something that you like and then just go 100% into it. The lines don't have to be perfect. The lines don't have to be um, super clean. They don't have to be smooth. They don't have to be, they can be choppy, you know, they can be this, they can be that. As long as it's good and it's fun and people enjoy it, they will love it. A lot of different YouTubers follow this same exact format. Look at some, look at a channel like um, Meat Canyon. Canyon. Their content is extremely uh, not for everyone. Uh, you can definitely see why if you've ever seen any Meat Canyon videos. But the point is, is that those, that content people like. So if you can find something people like that you like, most importantly, then go into it. And that's what I want to talk about this video because this style is extremely, I wouldn't say it's niche or like strange or whatever. It's not too far off the rim, but it definitely is a different type of look than, you know, something like, I don't know, The Little Mermaid or, you know, Big Hero 6. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, with this hat here, I really like this. With this hat, I really wanted to just kind of push the card as far as I could, as far as I could get it. Honestly, at this point, and I wanted to animate more things because he didn't have that many things on him to animate. So I wanted to animate a little hat bouncing up and down, and that's exactly what I did. On top of the fact that I wear a hat that looks just basically just like this as it is, and I thought that'd be kind of funny. So, um, again. Uh, work smart, not hard. I just duplicated his head and then cut the bottom half of it off. You don't have to make a whole new sphere. Just use what you have and then kind of just build off of that. And like I said, once you have these characters and these things, it goes so much more smooth because you've already made them. So then you, have to, you only have to worry about animating them. And once again, it's shape keys. So it's so much easier to get things done in a quicker format, in a more versatile format, especially for this style. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. I hope you learned something new. I hope you're inspired from this. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye. Hi.